Hello. Two years ago, I took a year off from educational leadership to go back to full-time teaching for the first time in 31 years. I needed a break from public school administration, maybe a younger person's vocation. What with dealing with drugged up parents, trying to help so many abused and neglected children, making a myriad of 911 calls, having a full-time resource officer, police on campus, having to personally restrain violent students, observing irrelevant school district politics, dealing with teacher union restrictions, being buried under an avalanche of employee evaluation administrivia ad nauseum. So I was presented with an opportunity to make a lateral move in the district and I took it. I was also curious to see what it would be like to teach again three decades later, full time in my subject area, drama, as I hold a 412 drama endorsement along with my K8 Gen Ed endorsement on my teacher cert. So I moved in the school district from elementary school principal to full-time high school faculty member in a public high school teaching drama classes. The first trimester, I took over the drama department, which gave me access to a wonderful, fully equipped Broadway-esque theater facility and a full classroom set of old drama textbooks, copyright from the 90s, as my resource. So I mustered it up and tried to use the traditional textbook approach to teaching the dramatic arts. I lectured from the textbook assigned chapters to be read, assigned the homework suggested from the textbook, graded the completed homework, gave end of chapter quizzes, and assigned students study guides to prepare them for the trimester exams. It was awful. I felt like I was copping out and the students were, yet again, disenfranchised with the whole place called school process. I failed miserably. The theater was just another subject slash class slash period they learned to hate yet again. I could see it in their eyes and the way they had to be told to put away their cell phones every day. Now the next trimester, I decided to walk the talk of project-based learning. The same old, same old textbook approach I attempted the first trimester was so much more irrelevant and boring for all of us than what I remembered from my first teaching experiences so many years ago. So I took a gamble the first day of trimester two and I showed every one of my five classes the most likely to succeed documentary. This time I was brutally honest with all my students. Some of them were in my previous trimester class and still signed up for another go at it, hope springs eternal. And as I told them, I was not happy teaching out of a textbook and I shared my perception that neither were my students from last trimester. The MLTS approach to project-based learning versus chalk and talk, drill and kill textbook teaching was risky totally new and foreign to everyone in the district, but I needed to do something different to be able to try and make every day the best day of the year. So after showing them the documentary, I told all of my five classes that I was gonna copy what the teachers at High Tech High did, and I would try it out on them, my students. They shyly gathered in something called Socratic seminars, learned how to brainstorm ideas, actually wrote their own plays, Everyone performed them in front of their peers and parents, and many told me afterwards it was the best class in the entire high school. My most fragile students, including extremely challenged SPED kids, seemingly thrived on stage as it was a safe place to express themselves without fear of bullying nor ridicule. We created a community of learners in one of the most depressed school districts around. The ACE scores, Adverse Childhood Experiences, in this district were some of the highest in the state. 70% of the students were eligible for free and reduced lunch, 22% ELL, mostly illegal immigrants from Central America, and 11% homeless. And a large majority of what their perception of what a place called school was absolutely turned around in one trimester by using PBL as pedagogy for learning. They loved it.